Hi, this is a demo of the latest feature I've completed, which is polysurface environments. So polysurface is going to be a series of joined surfaces um, that are essentially just a BREP, but unlike the BREP environment, which um, has to be a closed BREP, you can see in this case my polysurface has these open um, ends. So uh, first thing, you're going to need to hook up your BREP to this polysurface environment component that lives up here. Um, and you can see when you connect that, it, it also gives you these border walls, essentially. They're, they're calculated based on the normals of um, you know, the border edges. So if you do deep do border on your polysurfaces um, in Rhino, they're going to give you these two edges on the top and the bottom. Um, and then my script will also um, kind of extrude them out based on the normals. Um, this way, you can do things like contain them. Um, to that polysurface, not only to the polysurface, but also make sure that they are, they're steering away from the edges so they're not getting trapped at the edges. So you're going to need to hook up your polysurface environment to the system's environment. We can just see what happens when you do that. Um, you can see they are being bound to that surface, but you can see you have those that problem where they're, they're kind of getting on the, the edges there and they're getting stuck. So that's where these um, these borders come in. So if you hook up your um, environment now to the contain force, you can see that that contain force is going to prevent them from being stuck on those edges. And you can see that that force, um, so the vectors of that force being applied here. So as they get close to those edges, um, they get steered away from them. So that's one example of a BREP. Turn on another one. This is a much more complex BREP um, or polysurface. Um, so let's see what happens when we hook up this surface. So their, their trails are, are still being calculated from that point. Um, but let's, let's just reset maybe. Actually, I'm going to need to move that point. So this is my emission point, and I'm just going to move it to somewhere on the surface. Um, so now if I release them, they're also going to be, um, you know, contained on that surface. Um, but if we look at the border walls that were computed, um, you know, they're a little wonky. And especially in areas like this, you can see these guys getting trapped in those walls. Because they're being extruded normal to um, these edges, which are kind of curved and they go in on themselves, um, it gets a little wonky. So I've also included this parameter called border extrusion direction, which allows you to specify a specific direction that you want that border to be extruded in. Um, so if I specify the, the z vector, now that border is just extruded rather than along the normals, um, but along the, the z direction. And you can see it behaves a little more appropriately um, that way. The next BREP we're going to try out is more of a trimmed surface. So I'm just going to show that this works on, on trim surfaces as well. You can see my, my border is calculated. And even if I didn't have this, this Z direction on here, um, this one would still work. Um, I'm gonna hide the display of those. Uh, and you can see that these guys are, in fact, um, contained on this poly surface. And again, uh, my point, my mission point, is going to want to be moved. Um, let's make sure that it's on the. Make sure it's on that that's that zero. So now they're emitted from that point. And you can see so what we might want to do is so there's also this separate force. What you might want to do is say that if the contain force is being applied, then don't apply the separate force. So here you can look at the forces in this case if they equal of the zero vector, which is the same as what this outputs by default, then we do not want to apply that force. So um, there, if it's not equal to zero, so apply this force um, only when this is zero. That's the logic you want to operate on. So now, the instance, so they're not going to be pushed so far to the edge. 
um, by those separation forces, and they're going to obey the contained force more strictly. Um, so you can see that's an arbitrary uh, trim surface, and this is even um, what what might be you know a multi-level um, architectural plan. Um, so let's see what happens when we hook up this guy. I just want to show you. So here, uh, this is again a situation where you're probably going to want to use that um, that z direction rather than the normals because then you get these walls that are um, kind of tilted. So I'm going to stick to the that z direction. You can see that they are in fact being bound to that surface. And if I want them to maybe be uh, attracted to the surface, and let's just set that Z to be this. Maybe I'm going to add in an uh, attraction force uh, where I'm going to attract these agents to this point. So now they're gonna they're actually gonna be drawn up and again I have this issue. Let's try that. So now we should them we should see them being attracted, slowly going up uh, what is a ramp or could represent a, a stairway. But of course they have to figure out that that's that's the position they need to be in. And then with the attract force, they're actually kind of circling around the point. If you used a seek force, they would they would actually go to that exact point. So that's it. That's that's a general overview of uh, the new poly service environments.